Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain one of the easiest mechanism that is the planar mechanism. For more additional videos related to the concepts in mechanical engineering and design, please subscribe my channel. Okay, let's get into the video first. First, I'm going to create a new file by selecting new and make sure that your unit is the correct one. And now I'm going to select the front plane and then click on sketch and go to sketch view and here I'm going to select the center rectangle and draw a rectangle like this and I'm going to make this as a square by entering the value of 250 on both horizontal and vertical and then I'm going to use the extrude command and I'm going to extrude it to a value of 100 and I'm going to make this as a symmetric extrude and then give check mark to it and now I'm going to select this face and then click on sketch and go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw another rectangle. Select the point and draw a rectangle like this and I'm going to delete this relation and now here I'm going to enter a value of 50 and I'm going to draw the another rectangle select the first point and draw a rectangle like this and here too I'm going to enter a value of 50 as well and now I'm going to trim this unwanted entity by using the trim tool and now my sketch gets completed and I'm going to remove the material here select the remove material option and here I'm going to enter a value of 50 and I'm going to select the remove material option to remove the material and now I'm going to apply the chamfer feature to it. Let me enter a value of 20 and select the four edges here. Select the third edge and my final edge and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to save this one. Select file, save as and here I'm going to create a new folder. Planar mechanism. and then click on OK and I'm going to name this file name as base part and then click on OK and let me close this one and now I'm going to create my second part by selecting new and make sure that the same unit is applied and again I'm going to select the front plane and click on sketch view and here I'm going to draw two circles my first circle and my second circle and I want this diameter to be 20 and let me give this 100 let me give this 50 and on that side also I'm going to apply the same 50 dimension and here I'm going to draw the another circle with the equal ready option and here I'm going to enter the diameter value of 30 and then use the line command to join these two circles and then I'm going to use the trim tool to remove the unwanted entities and then give a check mark to it and now here I'm going to use the extrude command and I'm going to extrude it to a value of 15 and then give a check mark to it and here I'm going to save this file name as connector part and then click on OK and I'm going to create the new file once again with the same unit as well and select the front line and go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw a rectangle once again and I want this dimension to be 50 and this dimension to be 70 and then give check mark to it and now I'm going to extrude this one by using the symmetric extrude option and I'm going to extrude it to a value of 50 and now again I'm going to select this top face here and go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw a circle whose diameter is going to be 20 and then give a check mark to it 
and now I'm going to extrude this one I'm going to extrude it to a value of 30 and then give check mark to it and now my model gets completed and I'm going to set this one so that's it this is the final part here and the next step is I'm going to create the assembly so let me close this one and now I'm going to create the assembly file select new assembly and set the unit as mm as assembly design and then here I'm going to assemble by using the assemble command and select the base part and here I'm going to edit this one and I'm going to set this as a default constraint and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to assemble the pin part click on open and here I'm going to make this as a planar mechanism and then just select this face let me rotate this one then select this face and then this face and go to the placement tab and select new set once again and select this bottom face with this bottom face and make a coincident relation to it and now my connection definition gets completed and I'm going to give a check mark to it and again I'm going to select the assemble command once again and select this pin part and again I'm going to rotate this one like this and then I'm going to apply the same constraint like this select this face and with this face and make a planar constraint and then go to the placement tab and here I'm going to select a new set and select this bottom face with this bottom face and now my connection definition gets completed and I'm going to give a check mark to it and now I'm going to assemble the final part that is the connector first I'm going to set this as a pin mechanism and select this axis with the axis of the connector and then I'm going to arrest the translation by selecting this face with this face of the connector and I'm going to select the placement tab and select the new set and here I'm going to make this as a cylindrical constraint and then select this axis with the axis of the connector and now my connection definition gets completed and I'm going to give check mark to it and now let me apply some color to it select the appearance and I'm going to make this as a red color and then this with the pink and this with the green color and then the connector I'm going to use the low color and then click on OK. The drag component and select this face and drag it like this. And now my model works fine. And now I'm going to animate this one. Go to the application tab and select mechanism. And in the mechanism, I'm going to apply the servo motor connection to it. Select the servo motor and in the reference tab it shows that it is a rotational motion and if I go to the profile details I'm going to enter a value of 10 and make sure that this is selected as angular velocity and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to animate this one for this go to mechanism analysis and make this as a kinematic analysis and I want this to be run for 500 seconds and then select the run command and now my planar mechanism is created successfully and the animation part was created. For more additional videos related to the concepts in mechanical engineering and design, please subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching.